All right, this is going to be for all signs. Let's see what is going on with you guys. 7-Eleven, as I start your message. Okay, so God is going to be opening up some new opportunities um, for you. Um, you could be connected with your spirit guides or doing things like... Um, that is connecting you to your spirit guides and your spirit team. God could have allowed this. Some of you guys could be working with, um, okay, so they said DT. So some of your DTs could be helping you. You could be working with more than one at this time. Um, covering you, guiding you, showing you things, getting you started on your new cycle, whatever that is for you guys, whatever that's bringing in. This could be, um, strictly in the love department it could be the love department in another department all right areas in your life because you completed a cycle uh this is also nine so you completed a cycle so you are going to be rewarded for that Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. It's going to be for all signs. These are general, so only take what is for you guys. Simply leave what is not. Make sure that you are also subscribed to your areas. Only placements love tarot as well, guys. All right? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node energy, third party energy, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what is going on. All right, these are general messages for all signs. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Messages for the collective. Okay, yeah, so this is about a decision that was made under the last full moon. Um, yeah. Seven of Cups. So this is bringing in opportunities. I also heard options to you. So some of you guys could have released some things, whether you knew that or not. Um, that, uh, you released is something. It completed something. Yup. Areas energy and judgment was called okay so yeah yep you're going to get what you want queen of pentacles now for some of you guys you could have been waiting for something for a while or it could have took you a while but you you did it so this is rewards okay this is looking good queen of pentacles this is, this is like money old child mm -hmm. and anytime god blesses you who do we have the devil so some of you guys could also have to watch out for that yeah eight of cups because you might be getting spiritually attacked all right others of you guys this could also be a capricorn now we all have We all have toxic traits. Hmm. Um. So the devil wants to destroy this. Hmm. For you, yeah, Queen of Swords and the Devil. Oh man, okay, cuz of what's been watched, which what you're about to get now. For others, you guys, this is definitely a Capricorn. This person has like toxic ways about them. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. The Fool and the Five of Cups. You, yeah, God, you're about to get something big. This could be like a real big, like, lump sum of money. Yeah. Okay. What I tell you, they're good at new start. They're good at new start. This is coming in fast. So, for some of you guys, they said don't say that. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I'm going to just say this. This is why you pulling the Queen of Pentacles because you ain't got shit to worry about. Sectorius, Capricorn. This could be strong earth bender energy. Here we go again with the Capricorn energy. Virgo, Tesaurus. Gemini, Tesaurus. Strong Tesaurus energy as well there. Um, yeah, you're going to be able to do this though. Because oh, um, God said you won't be able to do it. Okay. Um, someone here has also got enlightenment. This is someone that, this um, Ace of Pentacles is also someone that's very smart. Especially when it comes to finances. Or they see you this way. Uh, there's a light emit that's going to, yeah, that's your confirmation, ding, ding, universal confirmation. There is some kind of light mint. 
that this person does and gives. This is somebody here that is very enlightenment on like manifestations. You might not. Now, Capricorn, the reason this person could be like a little toxic, though, this might not be very healthy. Um, they could do little small ways. They know quick ways to make money. That's This person is very good with finances. But they're toxic. This is somebody here that um, likes to take chances. This is like a gambler. Mm-hmm. And um, the reason why we don't like to ask questions because it looked like this. Very green, very fruitful, very queen of pentacles. And I understand that, you know, but it always, it, it comes back to bite you in your ass. There, this, yeah. All right. Yeah, honey, nine of swords. Oh, my gosh. Now, for some of you guys, this could be why there's two people coming in because one of them is a lesson. All right, with 711 being your angel number. Yep, nine of cups. This is person's going to get B. The reason why you get whatever you want from this person, um, because you are everything they want and they're going to give you everything you want. That's kind of how, you know, when it comes to masculine and feminine energy works, right? But it's, it's something that you don't see here. What else is popping out for you? Oh, child. Oh, and here come the, what I tell you? Two new people. Um, You're going to meet somebody, um, somebody online. This is somebody that's been watching you. Uh, somebody here could also be watching you, and this is why they want to come towards you. Now, someone here could be, like, a little bit obs obsessed with you. There could also be, like, toxic things that you don't know about this person, but it's also, like, part of their ways. Like, this is somebody that's a gambler. They take risks. They also do this in their relationships. We got to look at both these people, child. Hold up. Ooh. The Hermit and the Empress. Uh-huh. And this is also a child. Hold up. This is you. <laughs> oh, That's absolutely insane. What? Damn it. So this kind of... So some of you guys could be can also attracting like the same sex. You could have had an experience in your past. Maybe it's something that you wanted to try. Okay, something like that is here. That could just be for a small group of you guys. Okay, uh, and this person has still been watching you, so, uh, to be honest with you. So, D and you, right now, I feel... <laughs> and you could have ghosted that person. I don't know who that's for, but I got to call it because I see that. And this person still watches you. Um, we have strong air energy here. Everybody is here. You are pulling that fire energy, but there's no wands here. Now, for some of you guys, you have like these. You have people with their eye on you. Um, I feel like that's another thing about ups the Empress. You people, you have people obsessed over you. It could be how you do things. It is your enlightenment. For some of you guys, it's the power of God in you. It makes people obsessed. Now, you didn't fuck somebody up from the past. Now, this is not the same sex. For some of you guys, you put somebody straight in their feminine energy. This is someone here that is wishing that you would still pick them and wishing that uh, the, uh, the hermit and the empress and hoping that there could still be something. They still feel like there could be something between you guys. This can also be a friend with the queen of pentacles. You or this person's wish fulfillment. Um, this is someone here that wants to give you something big because overall you got people fall in love with you and um, they like what they see. 
and for some of you guys, you look so you're different. Even to like your healing, like you bring different, it's like divine energy. Also, you could like maybe you didn't realize you helped a lot of people deal with their demons as well, which the Empress is also spiritual. You're a hermitist. Or a hermit. Yeah. Also, you um you might go in your shell. And it's like every time you go in your shell, you come out new. You could have went through a few transformations. Like, it's like, not only do you help other people do this, but they are seeing you do this or something. Wow, this is like, uh, what's y'all on? Child, so proud of you, baby. Yeah. And they make them want to move towards you quickly, but I feel like you want to be single or it's like the fact that you want to be single it's attracting these people. I feel like you are falling in love on your path, on your journey, on your healing, on bringing you a, a abundance, on connecting to source. These could be also, for some of you guys, their ex could have thought this was foolish or could have called you foolish or could have thought this was foolish and God could have kicked somebody's ass <laughs> until God could have stepped in for you. Is also what I'm getting. But this is people that um, watches your social media like a, 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 like a lot. Like, these are people that are following you for a lot of you guys. These two new people and an ex. Or, like, you know, um, it could be mixed. It could be the ex still watching you. And you got two new people that you can also meet online. That feel like they want to take this chance. Child, let's get this angel number. We have work to do. I need to look at this. I gotta get, we gotta find out who's these two new people, who's this ex. I might pull some little energy on you as well and pull some more uh, messages. So, yeah, we got that, uh, I can't make this up when I'm talking about your spirit guides and your team. But that makes sense because you're an empress. Um, so you have 911. Another thing about these, oh my gosh, 911. You make people, spiritually, you are like, you're a healer. It's like nursing. You're these people's like spiritual nurse and God, but that's what a spiritual God is though. And it is your gift. And you answered your call. Um, now that could have been leaving a, um, a certain mindset when it comes to a same sex. Um, I'm just saying, you know, uh, alone here, maybe this ex was somebody you decided you were going in different paths, different directions. Um, this could have been a reason why we're going to look at that. But, um, also you could have someone currently, um, that you like left out that still also wants to offer you something, but you got somebody new on your path that's watching you, like, right behind you. It's like this person is about to, like, tap you on your shoulder. Mm-hmm. This is, this is obsession. Now, I don't know if you need to call 911, but we're going to take a look. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, angel number 911, endings and new beginnings. I cannot make this shit up. Well, God damn it. I'm telling you. Let's start. Yeah, you stressing this ex out. And I was just going to say, let's start there. Woo, child, what you doing? 
All right, sis. Okay, bro. I see you, baby. We're going to take a look. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Uh-uh, this person here wants to fight this Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you right now, that's why the devil card came out. Yep, Ten of Wands. <laughs> Woo, the King of Wands for your attention. Honey, this might be a fight. This might be, yep, Seven of Swords. This is some shit that's going to come out of nowhere. This is also someone here that will do some sneaky kidnapping shit because you are leaving. Let's see what is going on. This Queen of Pentacles is upset about, especially about this Ace of Pentacles. But they so busy worried about this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is the ace of, this is the person you're supposed to leave behind. Remember at the beginning of reading how I talked about someone new um that um you know also someone here could also be like toxic or something. I, I, something is about this ace of pentacles. But that's supposed to be a lesson learned here and then you meet somebody. For some of you guys, woo child, you got it popping. What is what's going on? Give me something else on this queen of pentacles. This is someone here that still wants to have sex with you. Boom! I told you a friend day. For some of you guys, yeah waiting. This could be a friend. Child, look at this prison. Child, please don't tell me this friend is trying to go to jail. You could have had an intimate. Now, for some of you guys, for a small group of you guys, you and a friend got closer or decided to do, yeah, pleasure seekers. Damn. Um, good lady. Yeah. It may be, and if you did or experienced it, if you have every right. This is your life. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait for it. Damn this it. is your life, but this person's obsessed with you. I just got to say that for somebody. For others of you guys, this could just be like a friend that you put straight in their feminine energy. And they could even get their toxic ways from their mother's side. And they want to fight this Ace of Pentacles. But they, and for some of you guys, to be honest, three stones. You could have had a three stones this person. But y'all could have uh, knew each other for a long time, baby. Listen, that... Take if it if that could just be for for a few of you guys, but I gotta do my job. That ain't gonna be for everybody, baby. So if it ain't your part, just don't take that for you. Um, but you know who it is in here, okay? Now, this is somebody um, that you could have known for a while, but they're so busy worried about this Ace of Pentacles. You got a whole nother person. I just can't get over that. Let's just see what this person wants to say to you real quick. Um, we gonna rock with this deck, okay? Cause I'm, I got, I got to see what's going on. Hold on. Uh -huh. What does um Queen of Pentacles want to say? <laughs> they look at you as a good lady. I was scared to show you the real me. Ooh, twin. Fl you're you could be like a twin flame. The em Empress's energy is also spiritual. I feel like you're a twin flame. That's what I I feel like. I'm not saying this person cannot be a twin flame because they very well can be. But I'm not getting that's your twin flame. So you could be like a twin flame or or something. Yep, I gave into temptation. This could be someone here that also tried to come in between you and your twin flame. But this is someone here that, that is clearly immature and still have grown to do. Child. Okay, let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? Now, this Ace of Pentacles is that X could really... You might have to watch that. What's the Ace of Pentacles? And these is also people that will follow each other online because of you. Mm -hmm. What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Knight of Swords. Oh, so that's the Knight of Swords. This is someone here... The Nine of Wands and the Queen of Cups. This is somebody, to be honest with you, this is somebody here that is coming in. Um, it's like they make quick moves to keep you to themselves because they have feelings for you. This is somebody, I told you, the King and the Queen of Cups, you're going to have a relationship or some kind of connection with this person. Yeah, Two of Cups, you are. But it puts you right to the Ace of Cups which is this person that you're about to meet. You're not supposed to stick with this person for some of you guys, or you're going to end up walking away from this person. And it has a lot to do... And for some of you guys, it's like there's an X that's coming in between this. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's a fight here. 
And this can also be something that's attached to this Ace of Pentacles, this X here. This is somebody's X here. Mm-mm-mm. That they are still going through things with. Give me something else on this Ace of Pentacles. Oh. Yep, lover. I can't. Damn. I can't make it up. God damn. This is popping. You had a funeral that they ended. So I said that. The pleasant letter. Uh, I seen this at the beginning of the reading. Oh, okay, okay. So someone here, yup, they did. All right. Someone here, this ace, oh, this is why this person got money. They got it from a dead person. I mean, damn, I didn't mean to say it like that, y'all. Oh, so oh, that was terrible. Please excuse my ignorance. They got an inheritance from a passed over loved one. I didn't mean like a, I hate that. That, that was like totally, okay, we got big luck, yup. Someone that died from an illness. This could have been, a, they already knew they were going to get this money, conversation and money. Someone here could have told them this on their, like, deathbed. They were going to give them some kind of money. They were in some kind of will or inheritance. And they got it. They stayed loyal to that. They got it. So this is what I was talking about. I told this, this person with all this money, abundance. They could be kind of reckless with their money, give you, be able to afford to give you. This is what is going to make you guys have this kind of king of cups queen of cups relationship and an ex here jealous or this person's ex jealous now this person could be either bisexual and you didn't know it or something or something here's on on up here like with the same sex all right let's get the queen of cups oh i'm sorry yeah let's pull a quick message from this ace of pentacles now for some of you guys because of this person's like I don't know, toxic ways or some shit like that, you could, um, like, open up your options or you're, oh, like, kept your options open. This is clearly an X here. But this could have made you keep your options open to me, the Ace of Cups. Damn. Ooh, what is this? Hold on, child. Your eyes are, like, looking into my own soul in reverse. Some of you guys ain't gonna see eye to eye anymore. I'm intimidated by you. Yeah, because this person's like intimidating. They got intimidating ass energy. I'm not ready to uh, face the truth. Yeah. Damn. I don't know if you guys heard that. I think about you as soon as I open my eyes. This person is toxic. That's why you're going to keep your... See, Empress... Whether you're a man or a woman and you're in your empress energy, you could be really, like, laid back if you're a man right now. You can feel this shit. You already know what it is, I feel like, especially with this Ace of Pentacles. And that's why you left your ex behind for some of you guys. It's like you ain't got time. This is crazy. Damn, Damn like, uh, you can't win for losing. What's that, Ace of Cups? But these are people that's obsessed with you. In the new world of Aqua Aries, when you find this... You gonna hold on to it with all you got, even if you have some poison or even toxic tricks with yourself, because we all do. And that's exactly what this is. What's the Ace of Cups? Damn. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> this person's in love with you. This person loves you. This person. This could be two water signs here as well. Two water benders, Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpion. This person loves you. Two of Pentacles. They could be nervous that you're going to juggle them. This could be also someone that could be juggling financially. Yeah, they are. This person feels like they cannot give you what you need. The Joker card. Now, um, here twice. Yeah, these are. Damn, you got like. This is also a couple new people on your trail. Child, you got these people fight. Oh my gosh. Damn. It. Damn, it. Damn, it. Damn, it. Damn it. You got these people fighting over you. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my gosh. That you're about to eight of cups. And I feel like that's why you end up walking away from everybody. Now for some of you guys, take what part is yours. For others of you guys, this whole message is yours. This is crazy. Um, let's get a written message. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on, child. 
This shouldn't even be here. What's this? The King of Swords. Yeah, you end up cutting these people off. What else is going on here? <laughs> and you just keep leaving these people. Look, as soon as they look toxic, I'm out. <laughs> Some of you guys, your gift is ghosting the bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> You are gifted in gas. I don't want to say that, but you will be like, child, you like genie in a bottle. Damn. Whether you are a man or a woman, this is not like gaslighting, but like, child, doctor and wedding. Uh-uh. This person is tripping out. This is somebody here that might literally have like a panic attack about you. I'm not even joking. Yeah, because you're going to free yourself. This is also somebody that will, it's like, uh, um, for some of you guys, you're going to find out that this person is married. They could have been also in therapy to work on some kind of marriage. They could have even, um, child, somebody here is going to tell you they're going to leave their marriage and be with you, child. Yep, let her. Oh my gosh, they could feel like they want to remarry you or leave the one they're married to and get remarried. I, child to you, or they see this like, I'm like, yeah. Miller Colony, Merchant, and Wooder. What the fuck is... Oh, my God. Occupation. This is crazy. Oh, wait. What is that? Yeah, despair and love. It's like the living room in prison. They're stuck on you. Child. Wow. Let's get a written message from these airs. I mean, water signs. Someone here could also have like an air... Uh, Sad child, I wish I could take it. Um, I wish I could turn back time. I abandoned people to make myself feel better. I'm telling you right now, yeah, this person is going to abandon uh, somebody. Hold on, guys, that is your confirmation there. Yeah, somebody here is getting abandoned for you. Point blank, period. There's no other way. To... Child, they, they love you. Oh, my gosh. I need to take a quick look at you real quick, child. We need to take a let me just take a quick look at this empress with the, uh, yeah, honey. They want these, oh my gosh, relationships. These are people that's in love with you, the king of cups, and, and the hierophant. Look at this, the empress, the hierophant, and the high priestess. But for some of you guys, you are your twin flame. Yep. For some of you guys, you could have even like ghosted your twin flame or just fell back from your twin flame. But you have uh, the vibe masculine energy that, child, yeah. Seven of Swords that wants to sneak back in because you don't. These are people death. You're leaving these people behind. You could be going towards a, a, you. I don't. It's it's like you're on this whole new path. And you could have even had to leave your twin flame behind. Also, seven with eleven. Yeah. That's a spiritual bond. Damn. Alright. Child, we just gotta... What's, what, what's the feelings and emotions overall? Let's just try to get this together, honey. Yeah, honey. Cold as ice. These You could be like cold as ice. Yeah, guilty as charged. And time stamp fell out. Um, We have... uh This showed itself. The Lord is here. Yeah! God, I can't make this. I can't make it up. Dad is here. This is like, for some of you guys, it's like you can pinpoint, fight pinpoint. Pinpoint was bad for you early on. Yeah, drinks of pain, lies you tell. Now, for some of you guys, you could have been drinking a lot, a little bit depressed, but others of you guys, these people are like drinking over you now that they know the skeletons out the closet about, yeah, you are walking away from them. This is like, wow. I, I'm a fucking amazed. We have marriage in step four. And I'm telling you, someone here is like leaving a marriage or wish they, like if you would heal this with them, nurse, because you're their Juliet. Someone here wears contacts or you own a pair of contacts. Some of you guys use deep, like, berry rich colors to lip line your lip like plums you could do an over lip line is also what they're showing me here 
Somebody here just got their eyebrows done. Wax, shave, something. Mm. Someone here drinks Hennessy. Jack Daniels, a whiskey or something, and a, or a cognac. Okay. What's the love or message, child? I mean, <laughs> I'm asking you. Almighty beautiful you. Oh, thank you. See, I was asking you, child. What's the what's the uh, love or message? <laughs> okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, the nurse, yeah. These are people that want to heal things with you. I told you, somebody here is going to get revenge. Yeah. They could be patiently waiting for this. But for some of you guys, it's like you are, you could be saving yourself for marriage or a real commitment or someone that you want, as you should be. Yeah. Poison, reach and sell. Look at this. But these are toxic people that are going to want to reconcile with you. But you already see, you're you're the hermitess. So you already see the, the toxicity. And that's why you walk away. And for some of you guys, that could have been why you walked away from your twin flame right now. Maybe because of toxicity. You're like, what the fuck? Me and my twin flame don't even see eye to eye. I had to like be strong and do that and not hurt it. I don't give a fuck when it comes to my happiness, my heart. I will leave you the fuck. <laughs> like that could be what you're on right now. Child. And I can, I got to say it. I like I, I do like it because it shows your strength. Okay, when it comes to like your heart and your healing and twin flames teach each other lessons. So I don't know what lesson, why y'all are separate right now and look into that. But I figured that what, what is um, the Oracle, but yeah, yeah, positivity. <laughs> And if it affects my peace. Yeah, re-energize. Magic and healing. I told you. Oh, damn it. Yes. You've been, you healed too much. You could be like, oh, I'm thankful for the lessons I learned. I'm going to just keep, oh, I'm just going it. right now. Let me just, and this is not you necessarily moving on to nobody else. This is just you being single. It's like you keep freeing yourself from also the devil that is attacking you through different connections. All right. All right, let's get your signs and planets. Yep. 11th house, Pisces. Yeah, you're you're a healer and you healed. You not only now for some healers, sometimes we are guilty of always like putting others before us. And you could have done that as well. Healing everybody but yourself. Now you have finally got to the place where you're healing yourself, putting your energy to yourself, and you could just be like, no, I'm going to sit right here for a minute. And everybody else's family for the first time feeling what it is to miss an empress out their life. Yep. Even your twin flame. Yeah, because that's why the emperor came out. You're the empress. The higher flame, y'all could be very spirit. Both of y'all could be like spiritual in a way. Now, um, spiritual twin flames, um, you know, you could be like, like it could be different. It don't have to be the same exact way. What is this? The first house. Okay, we got Aries. Yeah, somebody here wants to come towards you. Yeah, because you're Venus. Venus also, <laughs> this makes perfect sense. This is also why people, you, they fall in love with you. It, they can't help it. Yeah, and for some of you guys, it is, it's part of your common, it's part of your DNA. You might also notice this in, in like, your family. If you come from a family of, like, healing empresses. Yeah, you because you can heal the house of health, and you are healing yourself. Um, Yep, alliance. And we have self note pads. I hate to say that, but these are karmics. All right, guys. Damn, they obsessed with you, honey. Uh, this is like, I feel like confirmation a little bit for you about 
your spiritual energy and ascensions about where you are now, especially when it comes to your love connections, okay? Um, and what you need to know and how that is uh, working out for you guys, okay? So we're going to shut it down right here. Okay, baby, I see you. <laughs> I hope this helped you out in more ways than one. Don't forget to hit that bell, hit all that keeps you tapped in and tuned in to your messages and you will be notified when they are ready and available for you. I love you all. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll share any mine.